little accuracy challenge here. Your challenge is to hit 12 volleys in a row that land anywhere in no man's land. Okay. We need 12 in a row. Right. We'll see, we'll see. A little bit short. 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 Okay, think about it, it's half the court. I'll give you five more tries, five more tries. Six, two, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, grab a drink. <laughs> Your overall approach to hitting the volleys uh -huh. is, is not off base at uh -huh. all. Um, but but it's, I, I took some video uh, to show you. Arm movement, right? Just a, just a lot, a lot more going on than what's necessary. But there's just more force, uh, is a good example, going on. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so it's, it's just a simple matter of doing more with your racket face than you had to. Mm -hmm. Right. If you think about the target I just gave you, is half the court, yeah, yeah. and Brian, you know, he's giving you, you know, basically the yeah. same ball over and over again. So um, we're going to run through a couple of uh, progressions that will feel overly simplified, mm -hmm. uh, but that's on purpose to get you to the other end of the spectrum, so that with, so that we can then end up kind of in a happy medium. You're going to start off in a ready position. Uh, she's just going to toss your forehand side to start. Uh, you're going to turn to your, your forehand side, and your objective here is to just let the ball bounce, bounce off. So you're just going to take the momentum on the ball, open the strings. If the ball hits the middle of the racket and the strings are open, the, the ball is going to go back over. And as she tosses, your job is to do less and less and less. <laughs> Even though I know you already feel like you're doing nothing, uh, relax your body more and more. So as you hit these, uh, she's going to keep tossing you that same ball. I want you to be mindful of the, the pressure that's in your hand right now. I want you to rate it a uh, scale of uh, zero to 10. If 10 is as hard as you could possibly grip the racket, you feel like, okay, at about three right now. So let, let's back it off to a two. Go ahead. Nice, good, good. And Corey, same thing. Probably start off about a three. I want you to inch your way down towards uh, one firmness and just find the right angle of the racket so it, it makes it back to her. Nice. All right, Kirby, can you please mix up forehands and backhands? Corey, same response on both sides to do as little as possible. Let the ball bounce off. Yeah, that's great, that's great. The thing is, Kirby, because she's further away, to make it to you with her toss is actually putting more energy on the ball anyway. So, so it doesn't take much more on your, on your part. It's really just a redirecting of that energy that she's giving you. It's not so much, being a great net player isn't so much about hitting the ball as it is redirecting what you've, what you've been given. So I was gonna hit you like a medium firm like, like pace now. And remember before when Kirby like took a step back and I said, so now she's further away, so it's gonna take a little more energy, but remember she's t also tossing it harder. And so it's not probably as much more force as, as you probably think. Same thing here. The problem is most players flip it, and the faster the ball comes, the, the more the more they do with their racket. In, in, right, it should be that. It should be actually doing less the more he gives you. Yes, uh, just place it between the service line and the baseline. And we need, need 10 in a row. One, two, good, good response. Three, good, four, good firmness. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! Oh. <laughs> A little close for comfort there. <laughs>